Yeah, Roy's up B is really powerful. Oh, it is. So, you know, if he happens to actually get those combos and confirm, I think it could be really good. So they both have a pretty strong, they both have a pretty strong, uh, you know, jab to up B combo. So I guess it'll be who gets hit with the. How is the red fight? How is the red Hadouken with Ryo? Ryu is it? It's Something faster, that's, I think. Ah. It's, more it's it's when you do a real like it's when you do the actual Street Fighter input. Mm. Um, it is interesting though as a kind of a change up though. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd heard that Tatsumaki works as a pretty good recovery. Yeah, it's, it's like the hitboxes aren't great. Out of it. I've heard the hitboxes aren't great, but it works well to keep you on stage. Well, one thing that he can also do is uh, I. Don't remember what it's called. It's the focus cancel. Yeah. Uh, if he does that, he can get a lot of horizontal movement on it. Yeah. I think I'd that works well on the stage because you can slide left or right. I've seen some Ryu off. players do that before. Right. Ooh. And yeah. Quick jab into sure you can. That right. was. Yeah. That was crisp. Really quick. Hmm. A minute in, the first stock is already out. Mm -hmm. So now let's see. Ooh, as a we're back at right. zero percent on both of them. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing these mm. really strong combos. Yeah, confirmations come out from both of them. Both I think are this real stock will come on, come down to you know who can get that. That Who's was a really interesting, stage. albeit kind of short combo from SA there. Mm -hmm. He was really working his neutral air well. Right. And now, yeah, both of them are having good usage of their neutral airs. I'd say that's like. That's definitely Ooh. something you need to be able to do, because right. it's because for most characters, neutral air keeps you relatively safe. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, it's never going to be the best move in a character's kit, right. but it's definitely something that is good to throw out for a combo, mm -hmm. or it's good to throw out to keep yourself protected. I'm fortunate, um, you know, miss on the punish by good Roy. Good sure you can though. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good at the input. Just such a the great inputs are, you know, quick I've, kill. It's I've, I main Ryu ridiculous. in Street Fighter Five, and I still can't do his true inputs in Smash. I, oh God! It is, it is weird. I don't know. I always thought playing Street Fighter Five with a GameCube controller would make it a lot easier. Mm. But uh, I don't know. What to controller try that. do you use for it? I just I use pad. I ah. don't I don't use fight stick in any fighting game. I you just use I think it just takes a while. PS4 controller. I do. Ah. I uh. I really do like the PS3 and PS4 controllers. I just think they're, especially coming from uh, Xbox starting on fighting games. I honestly feel like has the worst D-pad ever. Oh, it's god awful. Like, but I feel like get diagonal movement. the Xbox One's controller is slightly better for fighters than the PS4. But that has nothing to do with the Smash 4 game that we're about to watch. So let's change yeah. it up. Mm -hmm. Like once again. Zoo is really Combo using these really. like neutral layers as a good combo starter. Yeah, great edge guards by Roy. Good. Mm. I think that's one thing SA has really been amazing at doing was edge yeah. guards. And reuse when you're. That's what helped him either. control the like the doubles. Yeah. Like he somebody a would lot of momentum. fall off and just both characters would be off stage and Zoo would just be taking care of them like they're right. nothing. But now I think he's got to be a little more aggressive. Huge he's depth of knowledge. As soon as possible. Because mm. this Ryu is going to be able to kill at about 10% maybe. Yeah. Like, and up till actually pit finish it, maybe, to be honest. But up B is a strong something. move, though, and it got a really quick, right. really solid kill. Yeah, so I think that's probably going to be a lot of relief to try to actually... Like, I feel this time, range. one thing SA is doing differently, he definitely had that great edge guard earlier on that had a lot of swinging in the momentum. Mm. But he's also got making very good use of his disjoint this time. Yeah, he's been very aggressive with these mm. aerials, and I think that's the biggest difference I've seen so far from game two. Roy's forward airs, it's just fast enough that you can really use it as a good combo and tool. Right. I feel like that's something that Roy definitely does need. Uh-huh. Aw, miss. Okay. Like, he goes for it again. He went, oh, he's doing it twice. Goes for the Thundercats twice. twice. That's different. I commend him for it. I do love Aww. the Thundercats combo, though. It's a good, it's a good fun move. Ooh, he went for the. Oh, yeah. and the up smash. Yeah, he hits a kill. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a shout of victory mm -hmm. from SA. Mm -hmm. He's proud that he got that up smash. Yeah. You know, when you miss now it, when you miss it a few times, I think you, I think you deserve to celebrate that a little bit. I think, you know, I think he really made a great. Mm. You made a really great change in recovery on round two. 100%. But 
playing in Zoo, I know he's very great at adapting as well. So I'm interested to see how this game three is. I think we're going to see a lot more even game three. He's definitely good at keeping Callum under pressure. Mm -hmm. I feel like going for two of the Hadoukens was a bit of a mistake. Mm -hmm. Like that was kind of what allowed SA to come in and really start that first short string off. Yeah. And I'm not sure if he might be feeling stuff out still because I think he's very, very analytic. So trying to just find out how much he can space and be safe still will definitely help him for, you know, the duration of this set. Good pair of neutral layers, but the mm -hmm. second one was caught by Zoo's down B. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, that's the move. And this is really scary for Roy because he's well within kill range now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the takes sure it down. Sure, Yuken takes it as usual. Mm -hmm. Great, solid move. Right. Especially if you know how to do the inputs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him drop one. And that is usually the bane of Ryu is yep. dropping these combos because they're not that easy to. Mm, they do. are not. So, really great performance by him so far. I think it's one of those things that you definitely need to be prepared for. Mm -hmm. And Zoo has been prepared this whole set. Yeah. Maybe even partially conditioning him to certain things. I think, you know, he's doing a good job of keeping his spacing. Because, you know, having a projectile is really helpful. I feel like there was definitely something he could have done to punish that missed up B. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, he probably was like not expecting him to fall off stage. I, I think he was probably going to be waiting for a bigger combo. But I don't think he was expecting him to Possible. fall right off the stage like that. I don't. I think if that happened again, though, he would. He wouldn't miss it again. Ooh, and just yeah. Sure, you can in yeah. neutral. Kills a 62. Rage but just makes sense apparently. That, that's rage. That's rage that's for you is terrifying. Yep. He, you know, you're never safe. It's a never large over. team of people looked at that mechanic and said, "Yes, mm -hmm. that right there is okay. It can stay in our game." Yeah. I mean, it's almost making zero go back to melee. So. Mm. You know, it's 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 interesting. I do. There's sometimes where I think rage is interesting, but I think I, I don't know what to think about it. It's I just the like game we play, you know. I don't want to say that rage is a bad mechanic, but it's definitely something that I feel like could use a little bit of tweaking if they want to mm -hmm. bring it into future Smash installments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it doesn't need to be like 100% changed. But it's something that needs to be twisted around a little bit. Right. It's like the idea of keeping someone, like, because it's there to allow people who are at high percents to remain competitive. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it really, like, that makes it that if you have trouble, like, closing out that stock, mm -hmm. you're going to be in serious danger because your right. opponent can just do so much more of it. And that's why we've seen characters that are pretty aggressive, like Ryu and Captain Falcon, yeah. um, you know, be become more prominent. I think just being able to close stocks out like, very oh, quickly looking is really house, helpful. Looking because at how Rage Smash 4 has developed over like the past Good like, few years of it being available, mm -hmm. I am so glad that like it still has its feelings of its brawl roots, mm -hmm. but it's definitely moved into something that's more of its own at this point. Right. I'm like. I'd say that's definitely a good thing. Mm -hmm. Always good to see change. Yeah, and we've had a lot of really good uh, character diversity Ooh, today yeah. so far. That was a good use of up smash to mm -hmm. punish the miss sure you can. Really good execution mm -hmm. on Zoo's part once again. Yeah. Like once again, using that neutral layer is a really good comboing tool. Really good edge guarding by mm -hmm. SA. I'm. I, it's been really getting a lot of mileage this game. Yeah, exactly. And these That's nares cool. are working very well. Mm. He went for what I think was the neutral V. And yeah, good read by Zoo. Expecting mm. the grab and spot dodging. Yep. And you know, the scariest part is Roy is only 30-ish percent away from yeah. being in kill range. So, yep. He's he's everything's almost, he's kill range there. when you're dealing with Ryu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's definitely, like, the character is good to the point where, like, there's always... He's in range. You have to work for it, but there's always something that you can do to create an option that's beneficial for you to be able to get a Ooh. good combo. Yeah. That quick forward smash ends the game. He, he knew... Game five. This is he knew Ryu was going to be fishing for that. I think he's up... Is he up 2-1? Nah, it's 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Both players really want this. Yeah.
Uh, I mean, I think just Rhea was a little too aggro at the end, you know? He really put himself out there. But I wouldn't say that like it was necessarily too aggressive. It was at a situation where he was behind. Yeah, and the time was. Ticking. He didn't have many options in that situation if he wanted to try like, to close it out. He definitely needed to be playing his game there. Right. And him going aggressive was what was working for him. Mm -hmm. So he needed to make sure that he did something and did something quick mm -hmm. to finish it out. Like Sa was ready to punish him for it. But right. it was definitely the smart move. Mm -hmm. Like, this is definitely being a slower neutral than both. Bo both of mm -hmm. them were definitely trying to be aggressive, send something out. Right. But they were also trying to be a little bit wearier of what the other was doing. Right. Like, because both of them have such a strong combo game. Yeah. So they know that the second they get hit, they're taking up an extra 20 to 30%. Mm -hmm. It's really... Yeah, mm -hmm. like, even this combo, like, just... Down tilts to top two. I don't see that very often. The forward and smash was probably really well. an unfortunate input error. Mm -hmm. But he didn't really get that badly punished for it. He didn't get punished at all. Rio's been unsuccessful with these forward tilt spacings. Yeah. I think it's deceptively, it's actually pretty short. It, there's not much spacing to it. I think, um, you know, if we're just looking at their lateral spacing, I it's think Roy is has the advantage in the situation. Mm. Like that down tilt by Roy, I think is further out than anything where you has to possibly poke. Yeah. Ooh. And that's a really Shoryuken good punish. Sure, you does indeed just yeah. end it up. The run up shield is a very good option to smash for. And man, I knew that Tatsumaki had a good like vertical or horizontal, but I didn't know it had such a good vertical recovery. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, I feel like they must have changed the move around a little bit in I'm balance sure it patches. Wasn't sure you can, right? Nah, okay. I am 100% sure it was Tatsumaki there. Right. Because it was Roy like... actually getting out of the combo with up B. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't actually really hit him because that could have been a stock. Mm -hmm. Easy. Oh, without a doubt. Super strong move. Mm -hmm. Or Tilt ends up mm -hmm. taking it, though. Very good edge card. Mm -hmm. Like, Roy acts a lot faster than one would expect him to. Right. Because he, he, he doesn't like He doesn't seem like a really like speedy character, but... Because mm -hmm. he hits so heavy. Mm -hmm. He's like... He's like the perfect 50-50 of the Fire Emblem characters, it seems like, in this game. The Fire Emblem Swordsman. I guess. You know, like, Martha's a lot quicker. You know, Ike is a lot more powerful. But Roy's kind of really in between for them. Like, I feel like there's definitely a benefit to Roy's kit. But one downside he has is that he does end up being kind of heavy. Right. So it's... His recovery isn't great either. So there's definitely... It's not just perfect for him. Mm-hmm. And Roy's going to have to get a little more damage to try to want a chance because he's strong in range, but he's in rage mode, but he's got to get a little more chip. Yep. He might actually. That could, I that think he might be in range. a good edge yard. I don't think many people know too much about Roy. He's definitely one of the least used oh, characters. Oh, that was a mess that up on that attempt for the grab. It was scary. But he was able to keep himself from getting punished. Right. So it's using the platform to his advantage. Smash there. This could be anyone's game right now. This is scary for both players. No, I feel like it's really bad because my PM background is coming out, and I'm just like, oh, man, he should grab ledge there. That would be a good ledge hog scenario. And I'm like, oh, that can't happen. Mm. Yeah. Both like, there's definitely, neutral, so? That was definitely a pretty slow neutral right there where both of them were just throwing something out, hoping the other one was, like, mm -hmm. hoping oh, one of them was going to make the wrong play. And he once again goes for that mm -hmm. sure you can... Yeah. Only to get caught with the up smash. I think, I think in a situation like that where both of them are at such high percent, I really think the matchup actually favors Roy a little more. I think Ryu has to really commit mm. to these strong options that he can't get to before. Great play from both, though. Yeah. Yeah. 